The Humboldt squid is one of nature's most impressive predators. It has three hearts, keen eyesight, a large brain, two lightning fast tentacles, eight grasping arms, and a razor sharp beak. Dr. Bob Gilley, a neurobiologist at Hopkins Marine Station in Pacific Grove, California, has studied squid for more than two decades. On this mission, he's headed for the Gulf of California to hook up with Bob Cranston, the cameraman who has logged more time at depth with the jumbo squid than anyone on Earth. Welcome aboard. Here, let me take this from you. Because Gilly does not dive himself, Bob will serve as his eyes underwater so he can get a close look at the red devils in their own element. The team heads to an area where squid have been seen before. They'll wait till dusk, when it is believed that the red devils rise from as far down as 2,300 feet to a barely accessible 200 feet. Like many deep-dwelling creatures, Humboldt squid are not very sensitive to red light, the first part of the spectrum to disappear in the ocean. Lights. So Bob will yeah, be using red, red lights and red equipment ah. in the hopes that he'll be less intrusive to the squid, allowing him to get more natural behavior up close. Red is camouflage underwater, so we're we're trying to add some red, but still have something mm -hmm. we can film with. The first squid to swim into view seemed to take no notice of the light. So perhaps Bob and Gilly's theory that the squid are less able to process red light is correct. A squid approaches. Bob can see it, but is it seeing him? Apparently it is. But at first, it seems more curious than aggressive. Then a boulder squid attacks the camera. Now the devils seem to be coming from all directions. One attacks the lights. Then they turn their attention to Bob himself. And his worst nightmare materializes as one squid nearly yanks off his mask. Then, as quickly as it all began, it's over. Congratulations, Bob. Well, about what? <laughs> about coming back home. Coming back is good. Now Bob gets to show off his footage to Gilly. You know, they, they are coming in at full speed ahead. Yeah. You grab the prey and full speed reverse. And leave the ink. The red light was a success. Even though the squid could see it, they approached much closer than in white light. And Bob has gotten superb images in return. It makes you suspect that they have incredible intelligence to see this exploration type behavior. And I, I certainly believe they have a lot of intelligence. 